Okay. Welcome back. Today we are talking about the Jackie Pump, Tonatech Jackie Pump controller. And with this, it is not like the other one that you need to use dip switch to just make the settings. This is also an advanced version of that one. Okay. So with this one, what we're going to do is we are going to set the pressures and the cut in, the cut out, the units that we're going to use and the whatever that it is to just put the system in operational. Okay. So this is the off button. This is the down and up button. This is the left and right to just, we have auto, hand, the on and the off. Okay. So with this, if you would want to just do settings in it, what you can do now is it will not be like the other one that you need to put off, open the system, go inside, then put the dip switch and do the changes. With this is very simple. First, you just come onto this sentence here. It is like enter and it is also it's okay and it is also the sentence also as well. But for you to get to the settings, you need to press, long press it for 5 to 8 seconds, okay? So we just press, long press. Okay. So you will see something like this. This is what we call the cutout. So the cutout pressure, if I would want to set the cutout, of, cutout pressure of this system, and I know my system already, so... Let's take for instance my maximum pressure of the pump is 126. Okay, so that is what I will use to set my settings. In case I don't want 126 and I want 130, I can just add up more by just pressing up. It's gonna go to 130. Okay, but now the settings that I want is 126. That is why I'm putting in 126. Then you press enter. You will still be at a cutout. If you want to go to the next, you just press forward. This is the cut in. So with the cut in also, you just press the enter. It is 116. In case you want 120, you just top it up to 120. Or you want 115, you can just bring it down to 115. Or 110, just go down till 110 like that okay then you press ok but for me now because of the settings that I've done I need 116 okay I'll just press enter then go to the next function which is the units the units of which that the system has to be operating in generally is supposed to be in PSI now when you look at it now it has been set to PSI but in case you are somewhere then you want to use bar you can just press forward Press the up key, it's bar. You can save it or address that you want. Okay. The feet or not? Alright. Feet also, you can just do it and uh, whatever, how you want it. There are the options of the units there for you. So I want PSI, then I'll just press OK. I'll just go forward. This is the timer off. When do you wish to make the timing off? In case I would want the timing to be like one second, after one second or two seconds off, I'll just press two seconds, then I'll just press enter. But now, I don't need any timer for now, okay? I'll just press okay. Just go to the next is timer on. When do you want it to start? Okay. Okay, so the timing also, you can just mix this timing, okay. So, it will just come back to the cutout. So after this, um, everything has been set. You have to press this for two seconds, then it's going to come to normal. So I will press two seconds, but we have 142 as the pressure for the system. 
So in case I would drain, let's check if the 116 that I set is going to come. Okay. So. So that is my pressure sequence of operation. My sequence of operation. Okay. Just bring it down. So I will try to. I will try to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drain from the sensor line. Okay. So you just check the pressure as it goes down steadily. You see that? It was very sp speedy. Yeah? I just tried to slow it down. This is better. Oh, oh. What? oh, exactly. Let's check again. One, one, six. Very good. So the cut in is very nice, and the cut out also has been set. So I think it's good for now. Thank you.